In this video, we will discuss the uh, isometric projection problem number 8. The question is given like this a regular pentagonal prism of base H is 30 mm and axis uh, 60 mm is mounted centrally over a cylindrical block of 80 mm diameter and uh, 25 mm thick. Draw the isometric projection of this combination. So, the two objects are uh, a pentagonal prism and one more is a uh, cylindrical block. The bottom object is cylindrical block and top object is pentagonal prism. First, we will construct the a cylindrical block. And as uh, we know that uh, when the cylindrical, the circular objects want to construct means we need to construct the uh, frame first. The frame of given uh, diameter 80, square frame we need to construct. The diameter cylindrical block diameter they given 80. So that's why we need to construct the square frame of the uh, length 80 with a normal line. And uh, now the angle combination will be length and angle combination will be 80 and angle is 30, then 80, angle is 150, then 80, angle is minus 150, then 80, angle is minus 30. So after making a frame, we need to draw the line uh, joining to the opposite edges midpoint from the bottom corner to opposite uh, two edges like this. Same way from top corner, we need to draw the lines to the opposite edges midpoint to get the center. And then go to the arc by center point, take a visible line, take the bottom corner as the center and from the midpoint of the top edge, between the midpoints of top edge, we need to draw an arc. Same way, bottom also we need to draw it. After drawing these two arcs, then go to the right side and uh, finish this uh, left or segment by taking the intersection point as a center and same way, your left side, these two intersections, uh, you can take it and draw the end. So now we construct the the one top face of the, the cylindrical slab and you can delete all this time which I will use to construct. And now we need to construct the bottom uh, face. So the height they give how much? 25 mm thick they give. So go to the one corner, give the thickness 25 and angle is minus 96. And the same segment will come down so that's why we can use the uh, reduce the work by using a move option, go to move option, switch on a copy, select the first three R segment because this is anyhow it is going to be done and it will be need to delete it. That's why select only three, hold the control and select these two uh, R segments, then release the control, go to the top of this line, then click it, click it and uh, reach the bottom of this line and place it. Like this you have to place it. And after placing, go to the line, visible line, so take any point on the uh, circumference of this one and uh, go to the, bo the bottom mark. It will show tangent indication. So draw the tangent line. Same way here also. Like this, draw two tangents. And after drawing the tangents, go to trim. Trim the arc segment and delete this extra. The uh, the portions coming behind the top. So like this, we can construct the a cylindrical a slab of given diameter 80. So then you construct the diagonal line to get the midpoint and keep it. And now, so we need to construct the pentagonal prism. So already we know that when other than any square or rectangle object comes, we need to construct the frame for that given shape. So same way first we will construct the uh, pentagon with the normal orthographic uh, view. So go to the macros, run macros and use the inside polygon to construct in an easy way of the inside polygon and always select the flat length and uh, the length of the, uh, the pentagon system they give on 30, give the end 30 and number of sides because pentagon 5. Then place it. So we got the pentagon now. So then we need to make this pentagon should be fit in a frame. So to get the frame, you extend the lines, horizontal line and vertical line from all the five corners. So like this, you can draw the lines and then we will get the a frame for it. So now we got the frame. And you can give the namings uh, for this frames. Uh, o, A, B, C. 
And now, these are the five points of the pentagon for one, two, three, four, and this is five. And now, the, know the dimensions of the frame of OA. So, the OA dimension is 46.17 and uh, AB, this one is 48.54 and the between uh, from the A to point 0.4 we need to get the distance so this is uh, 24.27 and same from the A to point 0.3 so these are the dimensions we needed to construct the all the five points and now from the point O to 2 O to 2 and 3 to 1 will be the symmetry because same dimensions will be there that is 9.27 now we got all the dimensions now we will construct the uh, this frame over here nice to go to line normal line so now we first will click it OA OA dimensions we got that is a 46.17 so go to the uh, length is 46.17 angle is 30 and next AB is 48.54 angle is 150 and again back to the 46.17 angle is minus 150 and then again, um, 48.54 and is minus 30. So now we construct, construct the frame and uh, the namings of the frame, you can follow your reference. You can keep this OA, B, and this one is C. No. Now locate all the five points. Go to line uh, arc by center point. Okay, now between O and A we are getting point number 3 that distance is from the A it is 17.63 so go to the point A and take the center and give the radius uh, 17.63 and draw the arc so here we will get the point 3 and now point 4 is coming between B and A this is between B and A the dimension is in order 24.27 take the same center A and give the radius 24 0.27 and draw here. See, we got the point 4. Now, point 5 between coming B and C, and the dimension is from the A C because it's symmetry. A to 3 is 17.63, same way as B to 5 also 17.63. So, take B center and give the radius 17.63, enter and draw here. And now, point 1 and 2 coming between C and O. So, the O to 2 is 9.27, go to the arc by uh, the center point, radius is 9.27, enter it and draw the arc. And same way from the C also, point 1 will be having same dimension, that is 9.27 and draw the arc. Okay, now go to line, visible line. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the point points we got, so now join it. From 1 to 2, 3, 4, 5 and back to 1. So once you finish this and go to line normal and draw the diagonal line to get the midpoint and leave. And then uh, you can delete all this uh, reference. So, uh, whatever the reference arrangements, what we made it, can delete this frame and delete the arc and don't delete the diagonal line because we need it for moving from exactly midpoint from here to the bottom of it. Now we got the the pentagon, the bottom frame. So to get the top, so we need to give the height. From the corners, we need to give the height 60. So go to the corners, give the height 60, angle is 90, and uh, it should be visible line. And now, same way, you can go to move, switch on the copy, select this, and place it on the five corners 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5.
so after placing it so we need to select the bottom face and release the control and from the bottom point you pick it and place it to the top of this so after placing so go to uh, line uh, you can delete here itself you can delete these hidden edges so only keep the visible and then go to move so from the copy option and select the enter from the midpoint you pick it and place it the midpoint of the cylindrical cell after placing you can delete these diagonal lines and then go to trim option trim the the circle portions coming and all so so this is got finished then go to scale select the combination and scale factor 0.814 in the case okay this is how the problem should be solved